All right, so I just wanted to go over quickly how to make a randomized seating assignments in Excel. Uh, I've read some research not long ago that talked about the importance of seating being random for students and frequent. So like this year, I, I now I use this every single day uh, with my classes to give them new seats. And I'm just going to go through how to do it. And then I'll attach one that's already done um, in the description. So. As you can see, I just have, I just randomly said 25 students. And then um, depending on the size of your groups, you can, um, I think groups of four are pretty typical. With 25 though, um, obviously the last three groups I think are gonna have to be of three each. So obviously change this any way you want, you know, center it if you want, uh, that doesn't matter. Um, here's the key to actually doing it is you're gonna put in the random equation. So equals rand. You don't even need to do anything after that. Maybe put the first parenthesis. Uh, all right, equals rand and then a parenthesis. And all this does is um, it's Excel giving you a random number between zero and one. And then I'm just gonna double click in the corner here or drag it down. And that gives all 25 students uh, random numbers between zero and one. And then all we're gonna do after that is simply rank them. So I only, um, when I reorganize them, I don't want my groups included. So all I'm going to do is highlight these two columns and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click filter. And now I'm really ready to go. Um, all I need to do now is at any time, click here, sort smallest to largest. And you can say now, um, you know, group one has these four random students in it, group two. Now the next day, if I want to do it, um, essentially, whenever you click in a cell and press enter, you can see it randomly uh, gives them new uh, random numbers and then sort smallest to largest. And, you know, you have a new group for the next day. Anyway, uh, you can keep on doing that. So uh, something else that I personally do is like I'll group here and then just to make it look a little bit nicer, click outside border outside border. Um, and something that I had originally done is I actually had had group roles. Uh, so in my first group role, I had like facilitator, uh, clarifier, spokesperson, and liaison were my group titles. And then they even not only were they assigned a seat, but they were assigned a group role as well. Um, I actually got rid of like the clarifier, but anyway, you can get the point. You can put them here. And then again, it won't give them new numbers, sort, and only these two columns um, get sorted. And of course, I can include this. And like I actually on mine uh, have it color coded, which is super easy. Just, you know, bam, something like that to keep them together. I don't know how to keep it so that like the students, because you can see right here if I made the students orange. Um, and then went to go sort smallest to largest, like the oranges go with the students. So I don't know how to get that to stay. Um, so it's up to you if you want to color coordinate it. Um, you could, you know, bold these and then not bold the next set and then bold these. So there's just some, again, really basic um, things you can do here. And I uh, hope this is helpful.